Good morning. I don't know about you, but where I am, it is very windy around here. So that to me signals there is change in the air. There could be chaos or not. Who knows? Um, so we're going to pick a rune and tarot card to see what this day is going to bring for us. So if you're watching this video, it may be because there is information within this video that will help guide you through your day. Perhaps you needed to know this. So what is the overall governing rune of this reading today we have Kainaz this is the beacon of light the torch within us it kind of dwells in your solar plexus the, the uh, your personal power um, and what it does is it illuminates things for you so this change that's coming into your life right now it could be illuminating things that you need to change it's almost like you've hit a point where it's like this can no longer uh, not be seen once it's seen it cannot be unseen that's what I'm getting from this um, it's a fire energy as well so this can be um, in terms of your passion your creativity things that you want to achieve um, maybe your confidence over something as well there's something that you need to overcome here uh, you keep seeing the same patterns repeating over and over. Maybe you're getting sick of people, different people saying the same things to you. It's almost like there's something moving through them to say these things to you. So let's see what card goes with that rune today. So what's working with Kainaz today that this person needs to know, needs to understand about the changes that are occurring in their lives right now. There's a bit of excitement in the air, I feel, as well. It's like uh, something brewing, there's something exciting and changing. How is that making you feel? We have the star card. So, this is an exciting day. It does feel exciting. So, with Kainaz and the stars, the star is, it's like a wish fulfillment. It's things that you, that you want to manifest, that you want to bring into your life. Um, so if you've been feeling not very hopeful recently, if you've had a bit of a um, dip in your confidence here, just know that the star is there, that you know there's still this thread of hope and you are manifesting this. This is coming. So if Kainaz is that torch, that beacon of light, it's almost like you've put that light out there and what's happening there is attracting towards you what you've been asking for a bit like a moth to a flame or you know when you open a window in the summer and all the bugs from anywhere and everywhere fly in you're like that light not saying you're going to attract loads of bugs i'm not saying that um but i just mean that you are what you want to attract you will attract yeah so being aware paying attention to what it is that you are putting your energy into right now because if there is something, a wish fulfillment on your mind, that's what you need to be putting your attention into. That's what you need to be guiding your energy towards so that that can manifest for you. Um, Kainaz can signal as well where you aren't seeing something fully. You don't wanna go missing an opportunity here. And there may be an opportunity that is approaching that you don't want to miss it. So take that as the universe speaking through me right now. You do not want to miss that opportunity. So if that means dropping something else to go and do this thing, you need to go and do it. Shall we see what that is all about? What it's talking about? What it means on here? We've got four of swords in reverse as well on this one. So I feel like perhaps some of you may have not been feeling very well recently, may have had a little bit of time um, alone recovering um, and that's perhaps giving you some kind of inspired thoughts here some sort of you know it's almost like you put yourself into a bit of a chrysalis preparing for something that you know is coming and um, that you know is changing that is happening here so what is this change what is this wish fulfillment that's coming in None of these cards, they normally fly out. There's nothing flying out of it. It's very secretive, isn't it? So canines, sometimes it can be things from the subconscious mind coming through into the conscious. So you are being more aware of those things now. 
what is it relating to? Okay, we have the page of wands, but we have it in reverse. Now, this again is a signal about where you direct your energy. So if you are trying to manifest something, say for instance, there's two different ideas on work that you wanna do. Maybe this one is um, working in an office and the other one is starting your own floristry thing. Now, if you want to get the floristry up and running, you need to put all of your energy into that and your attention into that. If you are thinking you want to do that, but you're putting all of your energy into the office job, you're going to struggle to actually see it manifest. Do you understand what I mean by that? Hopefully you do. So the page of wands here is signaling that what you put your attention into is what's going to happen. What's that saying? Um, where attention goes, energy flows. That's exactly what we're talking about on here. And I feel like at the moment you're more in the mundane rather than reaching out for what it is that you're actually trying to achieve. Um, you've got to trust that it will happen for you. It will trust. Oh, and we've got the Knight of Wands on the bottom. So the Knight of Wands is about that taking action. It's inspired thought, um, inspired, inspired action as well. So it's kind of like, you know, you actually taking that direction and there's fire energy here. So much fire energy with the Wands, which connects with Kainaz. Um, So this is an opportunity for you. And I do feel like an opportunity, if it hasn't already arrived, it's about to arrive. And this is for you to jump on that horse and go in that direction even if it feels like everything is against that it's time it's calling you the winds of change are calling for you to do that okay and we have as well the knight of pentacles so it might feel like it's a bit of a slow process but it is moving in that direction okay but you have to keep moving in the direction of putting your energy into what it is that you want to achieve on there. I'm going to pick another room for the overall outcome of this for you. Oh, we have Perthro, the rune of taking chances. So you need to pay attention. You need to watch for those opportunities. You need to direct your energy into what it is that you're looking to do. And you've got to take a chance. You've got to throw caution to the wind and manifest this by taking a chance. So that may mean taking a decision between comfort and growth. So you need to step out of your comfort zone and take yourself into it. So if this viewer steps out of their comfort zone and takes a chance, what is the outcome? Spirit? What we're going to find? What will be the outcome for them if they take that chance? On this today let's see what the outcome is where are we okay we have the page of cups <laughs> so you kind of got to be a little bit happy go looking it's funny because <clears throat> Perth Road kind of reminds me of the fall and sometimes the page of cups um, does remind me of the fall as well sometimes I'm not sure why that is um, but it's a very motivational it's sort of like use this excited energy that you've got right now to help motivate you to lift you up you know there's a little pig there with those wings on it always makes me think of that saying you know um pigs might fly but you know you've got to take that chance people will not believe in you potentially or they won't agree with what you're doing or maybe what you said you want to go and do is different to what you've said in the past and they're holding on to this past version of yourself but you know you've grown you know you've changed um you've transformed rather than changed you are becoming more yourself and there's a need there for you to explore um, and take this chance pay attention to what you need not what you think other people expect of you and Perth Row is that taking a chance, going for it, um, you know, get that powerful energy behind you. And you may need to feel a little bit, um, you know, just rolling with it for a while. And you might feel like you're not very grounded because of this, or perhaps that's how it's making you feel. But in time, it will bring you into that place um, 
Okay. I've just picked up, I've just picked up the bottom of the pack. Um, <clears throat> and we've got the judgment card on the bottom. So this is something's been awakened in you. Like if we go back to Kana's, something has been um, highlighted here to you and perhaps that's come through from your higher self there's a realization here um, so this judgment card is like you have been really observing yourself lately um, it's like an, an awakening time that you're going through like going through a spiritual awakening um, and this is you know it's it's lifting you up and you've got to trust this process this video is trying to tell you that there is you have to pay attention to the opportunities that are arising for you and when you find them you have to take that chance go for it you've got the star remember that wish fulfillment so what you've been looking for there's still that thread of hope it is still available to you it is still going to go in your favor but remember the page of wands got to direct that energy make sure that you are putting it into what is right for you um, yeah, don't allow yourself to feel limited. You've got to really try and throw yourself out there for a little bit on here. So this is a very short reading. I just had to get that message out there today. Um, so please do like and subscribe to my channel if you get chance. And I would love your comments on what manifests for you and how things are going for you. And I'll see you very soon. Have a blessed day.